Hello everyone, I welcome you all in my channel Learn Math Easily. In today's video, I am going to do one of the very important theorems of the topic cosets, which states that there, there is a one to one correspondence between two right cosets. In earlier video, I had proved a theorem which states that two cosets are, two right cosets are either identical or destroying. Means, suppose you have these two cosets are there, either there is nothing common in between these two cosets or another possibility is one will cover the another. Means, two, pos two cosets are same. These are the only two possibilities. Now, in today's video, I am going to explain you one of the another relationship between two right cosets is there exists a one to one correspondence between two right cosets. Suppose you have two cosets HA and HB. So there exists a mapping F from HA to HB such that that particular mapping F is both 1 1 and on 2. Now the correspondence word it's basically is nothing but a word mapping or a word function. You can, I can use any of these terms, either the word mapping or the word function or the word correspondence. These three words are anonymous to each other, sorry, uh, same, similar to each other. So, I am going to prove the theorem which I have used as a, as a title of this video. Let us rewrite this one as a statement of this theorem. There exists... A one to one correspondence between any two right cosets. So let's start with the proof. Let G be a group. And let H be a subgroup of G. H A and H B are any two right cosets. Two right cosets of H in G. The elements of HA are of the type HA such that H belongs to H. HB are HB such that H belongs to E. And these A and B belongs to G. Now we will going to define a mapping. Define a mapping. Phi from H A to H B as follows. Phi of H A is equal to H B. We will claim that this mapping phi is well defined mapping as well as there exists a one to one correspondence between H A and H B means that mapping phi is 1 1 as and on to. First of all I'll write, we claim that phi is well defined 1, 1 and on 2. I'm going to prove this. First, I'll prove phi is well defined. Now, first of all, I'll explain what is the meaning of well-defined. Suppose you have two sets are there here. So, one element can't map into two different images. That we have to prove. Suppose two elements are same, then their images should also be same, not the different one. That I'm going to prove for the case of well-defined. Let H1A is equal to H2A. Now from right cancellation law, A will get cancelled with A, will get H1 is equal to H2. Now multiply both sides of 
now multiply right sides of h1 and h2 by b we get h1 b is equal to h2 b so this is phi of h1 a is equal to phi of h2 a therefore if two elements are same then their images are also same therefore phi is well defined another thing we have to prove phi is 1 1 here let first I'll explain what is the meaning of this suppose you have two sets are there what is the meaning of 1 1 1 1 means two elements can't approach to a single image it should be like one element should approach to one image only it should be like this kind of condition this is a wrong thing this is a correct thing two elements can't approach to a single image so if two images are same means this is same then these two elements are also nothing but the same only so let phi of h1 a is equal to phi of h2 a therefore this is what h1 b is equal to h2 b from right cancellation law we get h1 is equal to h2 now post multiply by a on both sides will get h1 a is equal to h2 a therefore phi is 1 1 the last thing that we have to prove is phi is on 2. Now first of all explain what is the meaning of on 2. Suppose you have two sets are there. Then on 2 means every element of this HB should have a pre-image. It should be applicable for each and every element. It should not be like an element there exists an element which, uh, which doesn't have a pre-image. It should be for each and every element. So how we will prove that? Let y belongs to hb. Which implies y is equal to hb for some h belongs to h. Therefore there exists ha belongs to ha such that phi of h a is equal to h b which is equal to y therefore y has a pre image now y was any arbitrary element of h b therefore every element of h b has a pre image therefore phi is on to Therefore, combining all the cases for a well-defined function phi, we get that phi is well phi is 1, 1 as well as phi is on 2. Therefore, there exists a 1 to 1 correspondence between any two right cosets. There exists a one-to-one -one correspondence between any two right cosets. So, if you have two disjoint cosets are there, there will be a one-to-one -one correspondence. And if two cosets are identical to each other, so that is nothing but an identity mapping from HA to HA. Because HA is nothing but HB. And identity mapping is always a one-to-one -one mapping. Because it is both 1, 1 as well as on 2. So that was another important criteria of cosets. This is basically the end of cosets. But its application will be useful throughout the rest of the topics. Means it will be, this is whatever theorems and properties and examples that we have done till now. Will be useful till we will complete our group theory. So this is a very important topic of group theory. If you have any doubt, then don't forget to comment me in the comment section. And if you like the video, don't, then don't forget to hit the like button. And in future, if you want to see such kind of higher mathematics videos, then don't forget to subscribe for my channel. Thank you so much for watching this. Same video is available in Hindi language also.